you has changed the way that the Philip command works. Previously, it was in a dialog box, but they've now introduced it into the new properties palette that you see um, in most of the other commands as well. So first thing we do is if you go to your fillet command, you'll notice that it is on the properties palettes over here. And it's also got a little toolbar that sort of sits on the left hand side, on the right hand side of you, which you can just dock in or out. Now the toolbar, it's got your add constant radius edge set, it's add variable radius fillet, or add a corner setback. So you'll go in between the three of these as you select your uh, radius edge sets over here. But just to the right of it, if you click on the drop down, you've got tangent smooth G2, so invert and invert it. So this is where they've put that one over there. And as long as it's highlighted in blue, you can see you can start selecting. So if I had to go and select a edge, you'll see they select my edge. And as in previous releases, you can grab the arrow and move it up or down to increase or decrease the size of the fillet. Now, on the just the bottom right hand side of the tool uh, toolbar over here is your selection set, selection priority. So, selection priority would be line or edge uh, loops. So, I can say maybe go to those loops over there or that loop over there. And then um, a feature. So, I could select on a feature, uh, let's say that feature over there. Okay, so it'll do all of those. Now, obviously, it's not giving us previews for most of them because the fillet's a bit too big. To select that, you'll see there's the preview for my edge, uh, sorry, my, my feature, the preview for my loop, and then I actually double clicked for the preview for just the edge. Now at the bottom right hand corner, you can apply and create new fillets afterwards, so it doesn't uh, take away this box over here. Now just with the properties palette as well, I can dock it sort of side by side with my main model history browser over there, or if I'd like to, I can actually drag and drop it into the existing listing property palette so i can just select on these three just take my eye logic over there over there now if you are looking at i'm just going to go into this and just delete this if you are looking into a uh into the maybe face fillet it's a full round it's not found up just on the fillet dialog box anymore or properties palette you have to actually go and it's a separate palette over there so you'll see there i can choose between each one Okay, once again, choose uh, face A, face A, and face B, and it'll give you your fillets over there, plus your radius. Click on apply and continue. Then I can say, you know what, I actually want a full round fillet now. And with that, I can select on my three faces. And it gives me my full round fillets over there. If I'm done with the command, click on OK, takes me out of it. Properties panel disappears, and I can continue uh, modeling over here. And that's just one of the new things that you'll find in Inventor 2022, is that the fillets command has now been moved onto properties panel. Thanks very much for it.